Recently, I've been captivated by a number of futuristic scenes unfolding in China. These scenes showcase the integration of emerging technologies into our everyday lives. Let me show you a few photos that caught my eye. This one depicts self-driving cars smoothly traversing the streets in the Xiong'an New Area, North China's Kubei Province. And this one captures the preparations for spring farming in Hunan Province, where robots have taken over the role of farmers in greenhouses. This photo, taken in the northeastern province of Jilin, shows China's first independently developed hydrogen-powered urban train. All of these images are tied to a development strategy that is being rapidly implemented by China. Welcome to Shikshinary. In this edition, we will explore new quality productive forces, a pivotal concept proposed by Chinese President Xi Jinping. First put forward by Xi in an inspection tour in 2023. The term New Quality Productive Forces was also highlighted at the Central Economic Work Conference last December and became the subject of a group study session held by the Political Bureau of the Communist Party of China Central Committee this year. Weeks later, at the two sessions, a major event in China's political calendar, she underscored the importance of developing new quality productive forces based on local conditions. In addition, during his inspection in Hunan this March, she pointed out that scientific and technological innovation is the core element for developing new quality productive forces, and it is imperative to work harder on promoting industrial innovation through technological innovation. The term new quality productive forces has now become a buzzword both domestically and internationally. But what does it really mean? New quality productive forces are driven by revolutionary technological breakthroughs, innovative allocation of production factors, and deep industrial transformation and upgrading, taking the improvement of workers, means of labor, subjects of labor, and their optimal combinations as its basic connotation, and a substantial increase in total factor productivity as its core hallmark. Marked by innovation and with high quality as the key, new quality productive forces are advanced to productivity in essence. To put it simply, with innovation playing the leading role, new quality productive forces mean advanced productivity that is freed from traditional economic growth mode and productivity development paths. Features high tech, high efficiency, and high quality and comes in line with the new development philosophy. However, the development of new quality productive forces does not mean abandoning traditional industries. Why did the Chinese top leader propose the significant concept of a new quality productive forces? She stressed that high quality development is an unyielding principle in the new era, noting there are still many factors restricting high quality development, which must be guided by a new productivity theory. Driven primarily by technological innovation, new quality productive forces align with the requirements of high quality development and have further enriched Xi's economic thought. During this year's two sessions, the annual meetings of China's top legislature and top political advisory body, developing new quality productive forces was written into the government work report for the first time. This is widely believed as the recognition that the economic growth model primarily driven by low-cost labor, extensive yet inefficient investment, external demand, and excessive resource consumption can no longer be sustained, and China must actively cultivate new technologies, new business models, and future industries to enhance the quality and efficiency of development. 
She believes that to develop new quality productive forces, it is imperative to further deepen reforms to boost SciTech innovation. He pointed out that SciTech innovation can generate new industries, new models, and new growth drivers, which are the core elements of the development of new quality productive forces. She stressed that SciTech innovations should be applied to specific industries and industrial chains in a timely manner. Efforts should be made to transform and upgrade traditional industries, foster emerging industries, make arrangements for future industries, and improve the modern industrial system. President Xi likened China's lack of strong innovation capability to the Achilles heel of an economic giant. New quality productive forces align with Xi's earlier vision of an innovation-driven development strategy and his belief that innovation is the primary driving force for development. Since the 18th CPC National Congress in 2012, a slew of pro-innovation measures have been rolled out to encourage enterprises to intensify research and development, apply SciTech research achievements in the real world, and refine the management of major SciTech projects. She also pushed for the establishment of a new system for mobilizing resources nationwide to make key technological breakthroughs. The development of new quality productive forces in the world's second largest economy is perfectly timed to address economic challenges. The impact of new quality productive forces in China's high quality development is already evident. There has been significant growth in sectors such as new energy vehicles, solar cell production, and service robots. China's research and development capabilities and innovation capacity have also seen continuous improvements. China's global ranking in innovation has increased markedly over the past decade, while strategic emerging industries such as new energy, high-end equipment, and biotechnology have taken a larger share in the national economic output. The pulse of new quality productive forces can be seen nationwide. Based on its robust innovative capacity in quantum information, East China's Anhui province is accelerating the development of the quantum industry. Due to its first mover advantages in the fields of drones and low altitude navigation, the southern metropolis of Shenzhen is expediting the development of the low altitude economy. Besides fast-tracking the development of strategic emerging industries and future industries, China is leveraging new technologies to upgrade traditional industries, promoting the high-end, intelligent, and green transformation of industries. For example, industrial robots are widely used in Shanghai's Bao Steel, a leading steel manufacturer, and the robot density has reached at 260 units per 10,000 workers at major industrial enterprises in Shanghai. Accelerating the development of new quality productive forces means that China will further deepen reform in an all-round way, unleashing the vitality of innovation throughout society. This will inject new impetus and hope into China's economic transformation and high-quality development.